It's Bourbon Night. Hello. I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to another... I know, that was weird. I was... <laughs> per usual. Forgot what I was going to say. Uh... Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to another Sunday in Kentucky. Uh, it's actually kind of a nice day, albeit cold. Very cold. Shush. Hey, that's Shush. us. <laughs> Stop talking. Um, but yeah, so today we've got something pretty exciting. Uh, we just had a barrel pick that we went on come out for, it's been, you know, it's been a couple months since we've had anything that we've been out. There's nothing to do with today's episode on this notebook at all. There is not. Okay. No. We don't need that. We don't need it. Um, it's all in my head. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> we're winging it. Uh, first off, if you want to see the uh, the things that we're tasting as we go through today's episode, look down in the pinned comments. You'll see timestamps, so you can jump around for watching the replay. If you're here with us live, <laughs> you just gotta sit through it all. Yeah, you gotta sit through it. You but gotta... you can enjoy the chat while yeah. it's going. So you, you enjoy that chat. Yeah. Perry's here. Thanks, Perry, for hey, hopping Perry. on. I think we Swan's here too. Yeah. Hey, Swan. Oh, Joseph Brazo, who's out there somewhere. I saw him in the chat. Uh, I opened um, one of the wines, the cabs that you sent, and mm -hmm. it's delicious. I've been sipping on it all week. So there very go. good. Thank there you, you go. again for that. Yeah. Um, speaking of thank yous, uh, we got a sample shout out to mm -hmm. thank Todd Cooper. Oh, there they are. He sent us Two samples of the Russell's 2002, and we're super, so, super excited. We're super excited. So super excited, um, because we're going to put those in our best of 2018 flight that we'll be working on over the next couple of months, and that will come out at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. And speaking of Russell's, this is our Russell's pick. Boom. This is ours. Well, it's... Hops to Go is a local retailer. Well, you've heard us talk about them before, I'm yeah. sure. Um, and the Lexington Bourbon Society teamed up to do this pick, and they invited us to go. And this was the unanimous choice for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it is delicious. I had a sample of it the other day, but we have yet to uncork our bottle, so and very it, excited. It came from Warehouse D. Ergo, the name Warehouse D. Delicious. delicious. <laughs> yes. Everyone's been saying Warehouse D is fire this year, so. I'm you know, the kids, yeah. that's what they say. The kids. So. <laughs> not a thing I want to hear when you're talking about warehouses, though. I don't want to hear the word fire. No. Don't. Not in conjunction. <laughs> no. But anyway, so they've still got some of these at Hops to Go. Um, this is our second bottle. We've picked up another bottle. Because you got to have one to open and one to save for later. And it might not be the last one that we get. So. I don't think so. Especially if it's as, as delicious good. as I remember. I went to the release party the other night and had a pour, and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, I remember being good, but I don't remember being this good. So we're going to do this guy, and then uh, because tomorrow is Veterans Day, we decided to go with a theme of, I don't know, <laughs> we're, well, we we're doing a lot of Colonel E.H. E. Taylor. Taylor. We because, also have Elmer Tilly. Yeah, Elmer, because he was uh, also in the service. But, you know, Colonel, Veterans. So uh, we're doing a lot of E.H. Taylors, and then um, also in the Buffalo Trace line, Elmer T. Lee, which, uh, as I said, was in the service. So here we go. Let's do a little yeah. pop. Nice pop. And if you're drinking on it, anything. Oh, Blanton's, too. We could have pulled some Blanton's up here. Colonel we grabbed Blanton. what we could carry and brought Colonel it, Blanton. Brought it I up. I think of that. Maybe we'll run downstairs and get yeah, that in a little bit. Maybe. We got a lot to work through, though. So. Exactly. Pretty excited about this. Yeah. So if you are in Kentucky, you can get this by going to uh, Hops to Go in Lexington. Unfortunately, they don't ship, so it's kind of your, you know, the only way to uh, to get it. But yeah, that's true. They don't ship. There we go. But not many places do no. have the ability to do that. Yeah. So if you're in Lexington or you have a friend who's in Lexington and you want to go get a bottle, send them. Oh, it's good. <laughs> so it has um, this like spiced carrot cake nose a little yeah. bit, and it's just so nice. That's what and I toasty. remember from the yeah. from the pick was that kind of that carrot cake uh, nose. And so this is single barrels are always cut down to 110 proof. Do you remember the proof that this was in the barrel? Ooh, I want to say it was like 115 or 117, think, something like that. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So Eddie Russell walks us around the warehouse and just thieves out of, what was it, six or eight barrels? I want to say it was eight. I think it was eight barrels. And so this was the second one that we tried. Um, so yeah. we all fell in love with it immediately, but we were like, okay, hold off, though, because we've got six more barrels to try. So 
he keeps taking us around and by the end of it our tongues are fatigued so we take a break and then we do a blind taste test between our top four Mm -hmm. and this one came out on top but everyone was still like oh i'm not sure can we have some more can we a b test these two and eddie said no no and we were like ha 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 come on can we and he was like no at this point, you're just drinking. You're just like drinking. your your tongues are so burnt at this point. Like yeah. you 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 liked this one in the beginning. It's been your favorite all along. He was like, "That's the best one. I like it. Just pick it." And we were all like, "You know what? You're right. You sir are wise." <laughs> I mean, that's why he's the master distiller. If he'd let us just you know keep going on and and you know going back and forth and nitpicking, we might have decided to go with a different one that might have not been the best choice that's true yeah so it's just we would have picked it apart maybe. go go with your gut i mean this is i wish i had like smell vision or whatever mm. i would love to just bottle this nose and send it out to all of you it's really good yep oh yeah <laughs> and maybe I'm biased because we did this one, but we've been on picks before, and this this is up there on my list of favorites. It's just got like a great, the mouth feels great, the finish is awesome. It's warm and and it's long, but not like aggressive. It's a little nutty. <laughs> Monica, she was waiting for it. <laughs> it is. It's a little nutty. Um, <clears throat> wow. Mm. Oh, and it's got a just a long, great finish. I like it a lot. Ooh, it's buttery and silky mm -hmm. and smooth, but it's got this nice, I mean, it is fire. It's got some fire in there. It's, it's almost, got some heat on the tongue. It's like you want to curl up in a blanket inside when it's cold. This is perfect for fall, and that's what I said the other night when I had it. It just makes you want to curl up and just snuggle. I don't... Yeah. Maybe you guys snuggle. <laughs> I snuggle, yeah. so... Um, we should also point out why we're going live today, mm -hmm. which is... Saturday instead of Sunday. We forgot to say that at the top of the show. It's because tomorrow is Veterans Day. So we just want to, you know, take the day off and uh, observe sure. the holiday. And let you all be thankful of our veterans. Yes. And those who are still in service. So cheers to them. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers to everyone, everyone. who serves and has served. Served. Cheers to you. Thank you. So that's why we're coming at you Saturday. Sorry for not a whole lot of uh, notice, notice <laughs> before that, but... We also have our advent calendar swap tomorrow at 3. So mm, it was mm -hmm. like, oh, these two things combined are a great reason to... Yeah, absolutely. ...to move it back a day. But yeah, sorry for the surprise, the sneak attack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, how many... Do you know how many bottles this yielded? Um, It yielded 28 cases, which is, I believe, six 160... A case? Six a case. It's 168 bottles, is that right? That's a pretty good yield. Let's see. I would say. Six. Someone do math with me. Six <laughs> times 28. 168. I was right. Wow. Good job. Yeah. And they've already sold. Well, I know that they had pre-sold about five or six cases. So uh, they got 22 or 23 cases in the other day. And word of mouth is spreading a little quickly sure. on this one, especially throughout the Lexington Bourbon Society. So, I mean... Like I said, this is the second bottle that we got, and it might not be the last one, because yeah. I'll be scared. When it's gone, it's gone, you know? know. I'll never have a, a Russell's a, Barrel pick until the next one. It's you know? a single barrel. Oh, Jose! Jose! Cheers. Oh, oh no. I'll get it. It's way back there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is good. Yeah. Mm. It's so nice. It's got a really good finish. Cheers, Jose. Um, What else? Uh, we also, someone asked, like, why are we going to go live during the Kentucky-Tennessee game? And it's like, well, this is our normal time. Just move forward today. But don't worry. We're only missing 30 minutes of the game. Like, football games go on for a while. So yeah, <laughs> we're all, we'll be okay. We've got the TV on over there. Yeah, but, you'll be nice and lubricated. Uh, someone let us know that Kentucky's to, kicking ass. Ready so. to watch the, uh, the rest of the game after hanging out with us for an hour. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> yes. Ah. Our counter must be off because it's been at that same number. It must be. For the for the whole time. Tell us how many people are watching. It says 14 people are waiting <laughs> right now, and I don't think that's true. No. We don't know how many people are watching, but welcome all of you. Yeah. Um, oh, someone else is uh, late. Quick recap of the Wrestles. They'll be in Lexington this evening. So this bottle of Wrestles we did in partnership with the Lexington Bourbon Society and Hops to Go. Um, they're over on Ro Rosemont Garden, uh, kind of close to downtown Lexington. And um, 
they invited us to go with the Lexington Bourbon Society on this pick. We all unanimously agreed out of the eight barrels that we tried, this one was absolutely amazing. Um, it's so good, like even revisiting it now, it's better than I remember it being and even trying it then. And that's pretty tough because when Eddie Russell thieves it out of the barrel for you, it tastes pretty damn good. Cheers, Brad. Oh, happy 248th happy birthday, birthday to the Marines. Marines. Happy birthday, Marines, and cheers, Brad. Woo! Got an extra one there. Um, mm. So, yeah, you should definitely... Where did you go? Uh, Ooh! Oh, we're at 103. Oh, wow. Great, okay. you guys. Thank you. Well, ours says um, 14 ladies. So, Furry Wookie, I highly recommend picking this up. Uh, it's delicious. If you're in Lexington, definitely go buy Hops to Go and get it. Um, they're going to have a 1792 pick coming out in the next couple weeks that I went on. And then a few weeks after that, they're going to have a Four Roses pick coming out. But they're only going to have three cases of that one. I'm getting at least two bottles, so you all back off. <laughs> yeah, that we were both on. Yeah, uh, that we were both on. That one. Yep. So, And then you've got Buffalo Trace picks coming out. We've got a Knob Creek pick coming in to OBC. So we'll keep you guys updated on yeah. all these because that's a lot. We got some picks. But 2019 is hopefully going to be the year of the It's Bourbon Night pick. Right. Where we, we'll put a sticker on it and it'll say it's nutty. <laughs> and it'll be nutty. That, all those ones with the tipsy buffalo and stuff, we'll do like a planter's peanut guy, but he'll look like you or something <laughs> like that. I need to commission an artist to make this sticker, please. Mm -hmm. It says it's nutty. It says it's nutty. It's nutty. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you can, pick it up. It's good. You'll like it. Um... I'm very happy with it. I'm yeah. I'm savoring it. Yeah. But yeah. so um uh no, it's not the rye. This is the bourbon. Now we are we do have a rye back here and our uh, our theme is kind of EH Taylor um and also maybe uh Elmer and also maybe Blanton's. Um but we you, we want to. Do you want to revisit this? This is a pick that Chad did a while ago with the Lexi Bourbon Society like from Russell's ago. like 2 years ago. Yeah. It's the last of this bottle. I don't know. Maybe we should move on. We've been talking about Russell's. I mean, we can do it real quick just in this just one. Just real since quick. Since you still have... Yeah. I just want to try it again. Yeah, Perry can design. I mean, like... Like, Perry, I don't know if you can draw. Uh, but I guess, like, I was thinking, like, a cartoon kind of thing. So, we'll talk. We'll talk. Oh, completely different nose. This one's a lot more subtle. A caricature of Chad with a cane and a monocle. Did you know that the Monopoly man doesn't have a monocle? Yeah. I always thought he had a monocle, but when people tell you that, it's like one of those, uh, what do you call it? Mandela effect. Mandela, yeah. Oh, it's so oh, different. Oh, woo! I mean, it's it's really good as well, but I think that one. I mean, there's a lot of chocolate on that one, but this mm -hmm. one is, which is crazy because that one used to be my favorite pick, and I'm in love with this one now. Hmm. Anyways, well. Yeah, well, just just different different ball games, but both really good. So what should we move on to next? We've got the E. H. Taylor small batch, and some people were pointing out he's a Kentucky Colonel. Oh uh, yeah, well, still a Colonel. Whoop! Well, not the same. Still a Colonel. <laughs> but we don't didn't have the history at our fingertips to uh, go and pull. We went looking. We did go looking, and uh, we know that this guy served but yep. if you've got any other suggestions let us know and if and, we have it blends. handy we'll go pull it Woo. so jose, jose has rickhouse f floor five barrel 180801 so cheers to you jose for your pick Woo. and tnt, and blues, and TNT corner. blues corner just picked up a bottle of elijah craig barrel proof b518 it's a good one headed home to try you will like that tnt blues corner Go check out his uh, his YouTube channel. Perry's mind is blown that the Monopoly man doesn't have a monocle. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hot. Um, would you just want to go, since he did actually serve, want to go with Elmer here to yeah, start with? Yeah, let's start with Elmer. Okay. That's what we're going to do. But for our Taylor selections, we have small batch, single barrel, rye, and barrel proof. We have two of the barrel proofs. One is our bottle, and then the other one is a... 2017 sample sent by Henry Papa. He sent us some samples a while ago. I love it when you call me uh, Henry Papa. It's a 128.1 proof. So if you're out there, thanks, bud. <laughs> Grab yourself a oh, okay. new glass there. I can new glass it up. Yeah. All right. Who is a, uh, whoa. Oh, hey. Whiskey's Whiskey the, the best. best. To all the veterans, thank you for your service. 
Well, thank you, whiskey is the best. Give us yes. one second to well, pour, cheers, yeah. pour some Elmer here. Do we have any Elmer fans in the house? We actually have a friend who, I mean, we've probably told the story before. He's uh, not, he was not into whiskey or bourbon at all before. Cheers until to you. He tried Elmer T. Lee and he was like, boom, in love. So now all he wants to buy is Elmer T. Lee and Blanton's. And that's kind of tough. And it's really tough. And I'm like, oh, you picked a, uh, <laughs> you picked a rough road there. Yeah. But yeah. even Blanton's is tough to find. Now. He's got, he's found him a few bottles, and like that's his thing now. He doesn't really yeah. like, he does not like higher rye. I've run into a lot of people like that lately who are really just turned off by the rye, the presence of rye. Hmm. They're just our really strict weeded fans. And I, more power to you. You like what you like. I like what I like. Oh, that's right, Jose. I did show you the way. Show me the way. What did you do? Uh, at um, the... Uh, oh, that's right. At the meetup that we did at Nickel City. Nickel City. If you're ever in Austin, go to Nickel City. It's awesome. That's right. That's right. Perry, so, Perry's not a huge Elmer fan. Kind of flat for him. You know, I've always kind of felt a little bit the same. Perry and I tend to have agreeable palates. Your palates seem to be similar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I was just going to point out that coming off 110... Uh, uh, Russell's pick, so 90 proof, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Elmer is going to be kind of tough here. So it's not exactly fair, but... It's not fair. It still holds its own, I think. And it's very smooth. I'll give it that. Um, it's inc incredibly smooth. It has mm. an earthy note, I think. And it, maybe it's just this bottle, but I felt like I've picked it up with every bottle of... Like, I have a bottle of Elmer. You do. I've had other ones. It's good. I don't have a problem with it at all. be delighted to have a bottle. But... It's got an earthy note that is just not my desired taste. I like, mean, I, I, I like the earthy note. So some people do. Yeah. And I can also see now, you know, you're talking about our friend who just got into bourbon and mm -hmm. specifically Elmer and Blanton's. I can see how this would actually be good for a first yeah. timer. Or yeah. For someone trying to get into bourbon. It's just real chill. It is chill. But it's, it's you know, it's not... It's not a weeder. It is a rye mash bill, but um, it's still very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Simon just opened a bottle of my favorite Ardbeg Ten. <laughs> are you in? Are you in the cult? You so funny. The Ardbeg the cult, cult of, of Ardbeg. Ar cult of Ardbeg. That's hard to say. Hey, thanks. Huh? Jason. Mash and thank drum. You. Boom. Nutty forever. Nutty forever. That's right. <laughs> Uh, also, there's another channel to check out, Mash and Drum, his YouTube channel, mm. does whiskey reviews as well. I want to make Valentine's Day cards from from us to them that say, we're nutty about you. <laughs> I like it. With hearts and stuff. I like it. Oh, this is fun. I'm thinking all kinds of projects for it Perry. Can, it can be a nut with hearts for eyes. Yeah. Nutty An emoji. For you. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, uh, Ryan says he would take Blanton's over Elmer. I think I'm... With you on that one. Um, Wait, Oh, please. your mom's in here. My mom? Yeah, your mom's in here. Hi, Carol. Wow. Say hi to Chad's mom. <laughs> hi, <Everyone>. mom. <laughs> <laughs> she said, are, do you, are you aware that the game's on right now? Yes. yes. Wait, it says, please have Chad reads Jason, Jason's toast. Uh, um, it says, congrats on the barrel pick. I may drive down to get one. Cheers, guys. Nutty forever. Yeah. Oh, you just wanted me to say nutty. Oh, <laughs> I, get I get what she I did there. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I see what you did. Yeah. Um, now, is Pam in here? No, Pam's we, not on here. Pam only hops on on Sundays. That's right. So, <laughs> look at, they're all I'll saying say hi. hi. Hi, Chad's mom. <laughs> that's nice. Thank nice. you, guys. Very sweet of you. Um, <clears throat> well, maybe, because, you know, that's, that's interesting, because this and Blanton's, both Buffalo Trace, both 90 proof, one's a single barrel, one's just, you know, it's a batched bourbon. I don't think it's, a, no, I'm sorry. Whoa, my brain. Also, <laughs> a, also a single barrel. What are you talking about? Yeah, sorry. My brain, my brain this afternoon. It's okay. No, what I'm saying is is we should get uh, both of these before we finish our Elmer and, and kind of do a Blanton's and Elmer comparison and All right. see which one. Let's do it. All right, well, excuse me for a second. You're better off because my brain, obviously, yeah, not go, working so good. Work that out. Yeah, I'm gonna work that out over there, wherever you go. 
<laughs> Everyone, thank you so much. Uh, we have 134 watching. That's awesome. Sorry that at this moment Chad left, but we both know, or we all know, that I'm the more entertaining one anyways. Um, so he's going to go get some Blantons, and we'll do the Elmer Blant side by side so that we can settle this and give you guys the information. Uh, someone asked if Chad's mom is an avid bourbon drinker. It's my understanding that she likes to cook with bourbon and she's made us a bourbon chocolate pie before. That was amazing. Um, so she's got some good recipes that incorporate the bourbon. So that's always nice because who doesn't like a bourbon chocolate pie, right? Um, someone else just joined new to the channel. Congrats. Looking forward to new content. Hey, speaking of people being new to the channel, uh, we want to give a shout out to the Whiskey Tribe and yeah. the Whiskey Vault. Yeah. Uh, you all have been so supportive. We had like a record number of subscribers this week because they directed people, they were kind enough to direct people to our Barrel Proof Flight Fight series and people were really supportive of that and mm -hmm. came over and said, hey, hello from the tribe. So yeah. thank you all for joining. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, we got some new friends. So if, if any... If anyone's here uh, from the tribe, uh, hello and hello. cheers and welcome, and thank you for uh, for joining us. <laughs> All right. Oh, you got it. All right. So we got Elmer in this one. Okay, two single barrels from Buffalo Trace. Ooh. Now I'm thinking, because we're talking about pie, and Thanksgiving is the week after next, so now I'm thinking that our next live episode needs to be the bourbon and pie pairing. Oh. Which means wow. that we have to eat a lot of pie. Oh no, we have to eat a lot of pie. Does that mean I have to bake all the pies too? Yes. That's a lot. <laughs> well, maybe we could get my mom to oh. volunteer a pie, maybe? Maybe. What is it? Uh, I wanted to do their cheers for them. What it, uh... Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Boom. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Joe says, can he come on the week of the pie? <laughs> Actually, they're, they're, I've never noticed that they're very similar. I feel like the Blanton's is more fruity. Um... See what you think. Oh, someone said, where would I rank the Johnny Fitzgerald bottle that I got to try in the vault? Mm. <sighs> I mean, some of my favorite things I've ever had would be William Lear Weller, that, um, the Whistle Pig Black Prince, the Boss Hog. That was so good. I mean, worth $600? No. Mm -hmm. But it's one of the best things I've ever had. And I don't know. What else is up there? What's up there on yours? You love Al Young. I do love that Four Roses 130th from this year. Ooh, you know hey. what? Hey, Jose. Jose. Boom. Dream come true. Blanton's versus Elmer T. Lee. Natty. Um, I think I know. Let me just go back one more time. But I think I know, I know what I prefer. Did we try the new Boss Hog? No. We haven't tried that one yet. We were only got to try the first one because someone just so generously sent us a sample. And I was like. Phew. Yeah. Uh, but what's up there on mine? Um, the Four Roses 125th. That was amazing. Um, that was good. The Russell's Reserve 2002. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Booker's Rye. What am I thinking? How did I not say that? <laughs> I don't know. Definitely Booker's Rye. You listed two leaders. The, the William Little Weller, sure. And Johnny Fitzgerald. Um... We've had it twice. Yeah. We had it at the vault. Yeah, and then we, and we had, had it at Jason Priest. Right. Priest's. But I don't remember that night. I so. Know. <laughs> but I do. And it was okay. It's up there, but it's not it's not on my top. <gasps> okay, well, we it's have not, different tastes, so anyways. I don't know. Um someone else asked if we've had what was it, the old the new one, the old Ezra seven year? Is that what it's called? I think so. I think so. I don't want to scroll too much. I think that's what it is. Someone else asked me today if we wanted, yeah, Old Ezra Barrel Strength. I, we tried something like that with Perry, mm -hmm. and I don't remember being extremely fond of it, but I can't remember exactly. So Perry, let us know. We want to take another sample out of that bottle, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Um, or yeah. we're just trying to find a bottle, trying to track one down. Yes, we did have it with Perry. Okay. Um, yeah, because I've been hearing a lot of rave reviews about it, and I don't remember being extremely pleased, so... I would like to revisit that again. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. Yeah. So, between the two, um, and I think this is the right order right now. Yes, this is correct. Um, I have this one. Which one do you prefer? Put your hand over the top of it. Okay. It'll be three, two, one, go. All, All right. right. So three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, I heard Fred Minnick picked it out of a blind flight, and now everybody's talking about it. But when we tried it, I just wasn't impressed. Huh. That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. But again, that's why there are multiple reviewers out there. Everyone's got their own opinion. Exactly. Um, yeah. Have we tried the new Knob Creek Double Barreled Rye? I haven't even heard of that. Uh, no, we haven't. <coughs> I would love Excuse to. Me. I love their cast. <coughs> I love their single barrel ryes and their cast strength ryes. So yeah, yeah. I think it's a. It would be a delight. Big fan of the 115 proof, and their uh, the barrel proof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So you you like the Blantons? I like the more. Blantons. I think the Blantons has more of a fruity note to it. Yeah. And I'm kind of liking more the earthy note of the Elmer. <laughs> you do. What? You like the earthy. See, I think that's what's turning me off about this. It's the earthy. <laughs> Somebody said, well, if this disagreement causes a breakup, I'll buy Sarah from you. <laughs> you can't buy Sarah with an H. <laughs> She's not for sale. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Regular me, whatever. But Haven't had the new Parker's Heritage <laughs> either. Um, yeah, okay. There is the old Ezra 101, which I think we have a bottle of. And now the 117 proof barrel strength. This is what we had with Perry on his podcast. Uh, the uh, um, one year anniversary uh, episode of his podcast. I think it was episode 51. Mm -hmm. So you can go give that a listen. But yeah. <laughs> Monica says there would be a bidding more hmm. for Sarah with an H. People would be paying to have her what go away. Okay. Yeah, I want this one. Fine. I want this one. Okay. How oh, yeah. Yet? Yeah. Yep. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. <laughs> Jason said, the Parker's Heritage tastes like someone poured Tang in my bourbon. That's Whoa. the orange Curacao finished one, right? Uh -huh. That's this year. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't had that one yet. Not not had the pleasure. <laughs> we have, Joe, we have had the uh, New Riff single barrel. Um, we had that also with Perry. Yes. Uh, that same night. And uh, I was rather impressed with it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good. Good. Red, uh, better than the regular um, New Riff. Really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I am impressed with their product overall. Yeah, same. I like when they wait. They take the time and do it right. And that, yeah. that makes me happy. Like Wilderness Trail, too. Mm -hmm. It makes me happy. Yep. I'm so proud. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to move on to some Taylor, but you guys let us know. So again, our choices are uh, Small Batch, Single Barrel, The Rye, and we have two versions of a Barrel Proof. From them so, so what let you us know see? in the comments and we'll uh, we'll get that one out uh name here <laughs> says do you strictly drink american whiskeys bourbon rye etc or do you explore other countries whiskeys um we are open to trying whatever and we generally sample new things when we can find them it has been largely our, our experience and the chat will tell you that we are not really a fan of anything else it's we give it a try and i can appreciate some of it but it really just, bourbon is our thing. Like, bourbon and rye, I mean, just American whiskey in general, is so delicious, and yeah. it's really just what floats our boat, so. Well, it's in our blood. We're both born, born and bred and Kentuckians. Yeah. So, if ever there was a spirit to latch onto, I feel like, you know, bourbon. <laughs> yeah, we're. Definitely the one. We're just not a scotch person. We're a, a person, people. We're, 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 not we're, just, not a, people. we're just not a person. We're just not a person. We're like individual um, people. You know, and there's some other, like, I'm interested in trying other whiskeys from around the U.S. Like, uh, Joseph Brazo, who's in the chat, sent us uh, the one from Washington. It's called... Uh, Woodenville. Woodenville. Mm -hmm. I love that one. It's yeah. great. Yeah. So, I like to try other stuff. It's just, I know what I like. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not afraid to explore. <laughs> so, we got some barrel proofs. Uh, yeah, barrel proof. Oh, people said tornado survivor. Oh, Todd Cooper. <laughs> Why would you say that? No, we don't have a tornado survivor. <laughs> we or, wish. Or uh, a four grain. Four grain. Or the toast. Didn't they have a toast? Seasoned uh, oak. Seasoned oak. Yeah, there you go. Seasoned oak. Nope. Nope. Single barrel, small batch, barrel proof, barrel proof, barrel proof. 
Barrel proof? Are we going to pop any of the new BTAC if we can get them? Sure, if we can get if them. If we can get any one of them happily. Yeah. Um, no, it's not this year's single barrel. It's like 2016, maybe. <laughs> Who said, I'm running to the store. Does anyone need anything? <laughs> <laughs> Moose 76. That's funny. Um, yes. Well, I think it's barrel proof. I think it's barrel proof, too. Uh, so we have a 129 proof version and then where's that sample right there 2017 which is 128.1 um, so jesse says you guys need to do some tennessee stuff jack daniels barrel proof is not to be overlooked i believe that's going to be in our advent calendar um, this year i've been wanting to try it <laughs> i've been trying to get this curmudgeon right here to try it it's more of like a kentucky versus tennessee thing it's a rivalry I'm we're, the whiskey might be good, but it's sort of a you kind of gotta swallow your pride a little bit. So swallow your whiskey. All right, goodness. We're gonna go with the twenty-eight point one because um, we haven't had this particular one before, so we're gonna do that. Do you have a glass available? I do. Okay. Yes, people did ruin scotch for us. We were actually chatting with Todd Cooper last night, who was in the chat, and we were talking about how. People sent us like the most extreme scotch possible to try and introduce us to scotch. And that's like someone who's never had sushi being like, here, here's a piece of sashimi. It's just raw <laughs> fish. There's no rice or anything. Here you go. No, you give them a California roll. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't do that to somebody. And then we were talking about, well, what would the bourbon equivalent be? Like, oh, you would never give a, a newbie that bourbon. Because for me, I was just thinking every, you know, most everything is delicious. Um, but yeah, obviously you wouldn't give them this you wouldn't give them really high proof um even though those are some of our favorites but you know right some people love peated scotch some i would people love art bag right but i would never get there. give a beginner a bookers right it's just gonna blow like they're just gonna be upset and yeah. they're gonna shy away from it probably because it's too much you know, just to drink neat? No. So then there's that whole discussion, oh, you know, give them Basil Hayden, it's 80 proof, and it's... Bye, Swan. See you, Swan. Soon. Um, it's 80 proof, and it's easy, and da 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 I still say, and I know I've said this on the show before, so forgive me for repeating myself, but I feel like you need to give a newbie something with a little bit more flavor, mm. and I just don't feel like 80 proof Basil Hayden, no offense if you like it, of course... We're big advocates of like what you like, but... You don't think it's representative enough? I don't think it's representative them. enough. An 80 proofer. I would go 86 or above. Yeah. So... I mean, I still think... I think Woodford is probably one of the best ways to introduce someone to bourbon. Woodford? I would give him that Elmer T. Lee, actually. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't waste my Elmer T. Lee on someone new. <laughs> no offense, but you know, <laughs> what if they're like, ugh, I'm going to pour it out? I'm like, No. Okay, in a world where it was readily available. Okay, in a world where it's readily available, yeah. maybe, but I'd still start with Woodford. Just because it's so much more middle of the road and... Well, I, I would ask him... I would try to oh, find Elijah out... Oh, Elijah Craig's Small Batch. That's a good suggestion. That is, 94 proof. I would try to find out somehow if they kind of like earthy tones. Like, maybe if they like a cigar, that might be kind of a good... Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of like the... I don't know. So, something like that. I also think Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare. Yeah, Eagle Rare is a good call. Would be a good starter. Um, Jason from the Mash and Drum said, Compass Box Spice Tree is a great scotch for bourbon lovers. I've never heard of that, and I would mm. love to try it. Mm. Uh, so I'll have to be on the lookout for that. There you go. I've seen their website, though. Their, their website's nice. Ooh, this. Yep, this oh, is. What does that smell this like? got some spice. Oh, it's a it's a caramel spice. This has, smells like something we've eaten recently. Yeah, it definitely has a more of a food smell to it. What is that? It's almost like a sauce. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I can't put my finger on it, but as soon as I nosed it, I was like, I've had this recently. It's a dessert. It's sort of like a creme yeah, brulee. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something with a kind of a brulee. Oh, I did brulee that bourbon it. brown sugar on top of that cheesecake. I bet that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! I brulee a brown sugar cheesecake. <laughs> no, it smells great. Let's dive in. Uh oh, you might hear some dog barks. <laughs> um, and it 
tastes like the nose. It does taste like the nose. It's very. That's very warm. Desserty. It's a middle to the back of the tongue mm -hmm. heat that is really. Do you get coughing on? In? No. Oh, I do a little bit on the finish. It's really good. I can I can see where you would get that. Yep, it's hanging out on the back of my tongue like it's not leaving. The rest of the palate was amazing, but it won't go away. I, <laughs> it's making me a little bit upset. It's kind of like biting a cinnamon stick. It is cinnamony too. Yeah, um, like a dark cinnamon stick. Like, whoo, that's mm, like cinnamon that's been reduced into some type of reduction, sugary. Reduced into a reduction. <laughs> mm -hmm. You heard me. Uh, my mom's here. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Welcome. I wonder if my mom's still on. I don't know. She was hanging out. I have a... Uh... Oh, yep, yeah, she's here. Maybe you're tasting the pumpkin bread I just baked. She said, ooh. Was there pumpkin bread and you didn't share it with me? No. Maybe? I don't believe you now. I don't think so. <gasps> you're in trouble. I don't remember. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Both of our moms are in the chat. How cool. First time ever. Yeah. This... We hit a new record today. Two moms in the chat. Two moms in the chat. <laughs> oh, she's in my mom. They're talking. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, don't cross the streams, both moms. <laughs> mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is good. Yeah. I'm still, it's just a tiny little bit of, how does everyone know my mom's last name? How'd you all figure that out? Oh, pfft. Her username? <laughs> oh, never mind. Wow. Okie dokie. Well. And on that note, I'll have a drink of water. This one in particular. Yes, Perry. I've realized that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, Birdman, Birdman 360. 360. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for that. Cheers, guys. Um, this one is... <laughs> Is different. It's very spicy, and spice cabinet e. Yeah, it's got a lot thrown in the mix. I should start a cooking with bourbon channel. I really want to do that, Mike. I really want to do that. When we have time to produce more episodes, I that's on the list of things to do. You already got your apron. I have my apron. I'm taking my master class. I'm, well. Oh, I, that was a super chat. That yeah. That comment <laughs> from Mike. Thank you, Mike. Cheers to you. <laughs> Cowbell cheers. <laughs> um, yes. One day, it's on the list. Uh, mm -hmm. Sauce Sarah. Sauce All right. Sarah. I'm just going to keep this up here for now. <laughs> Captain making it happen. Unless you guys want me to just keep doing that. I can keep doing that. Um, but yeah, so cooking channel. One day. You know what I'd like to have after this is their rye. Because we haven't had their rye in a minute. And I want to just see how this spice... Of the barrel proof compares mm. to the rye of Let's the do it. Uh, of the Kentucky Colonel E. H. Taylor, Jr. to to use his full name. Yes, <laughs> I'm the, not Sarah with an H. By the way, I want to become a Kentucky Colonel. So if you all could Chad's nominate goal. me, that is a lifelong goal actually to be a Kentucky Colonel. So just so you know, putting that out there. Can the I be one for the first time? Sure. Will they let you? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I think so. It's 2018. I can be whatever I want, right? That's right. You can be an astronaut if you just didn't not like heights. Or flying. Or flying. <laughs> or no gravity, but whatever. No, I've seen those those things, those anti-gravity things they put you in and spin you around. I'm like, nope, I'm good. I'll stay right here on Earth. Okay. No so space maybe for me. not an astronaut. Yeah, a women, women yes. can be colonels too. Exactly. Yeah, I want to do it. Yeah. How do we, uh, it requires about 30 years worth of service. So no. <laughs> well, I've, I've, I've... No. Actually, that's not... You can become an honorary colonel, uh, and I saw it happen to a bunch of college students who were all from out of state visiting Kentucky. They were all like honor, you know, like honor students. Mm -hmm. And uh, right then and there he said, all of you are now honorary Kentucky colonels. And they were in college. So... I'll just want as an honorary. You just one. want an honorary? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Do a heavy pour, someone says? Oof. No. No. <laughs> We're good. This is, I mean, several of these is actually the same as one heavy pour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll invite Perry over to yeah, pour Yeah, it's not like us. Perry's here. Perry's pours. Perry is the king of heavy pours. He, I'm like, no, thank you. I'll pour that. <laughs> it's like, Perry, it's it's overflowing out of the glass. <laughs> He's like, no, just oh, a little bit more. Oh. Well. We love you. Just kidding, Perry. We're just giving you a hard time. Perry Bear. But he said we need to hang out again soon and do another the episode or a, just a bourbon night in general. And I agree. We should do that. I agree. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bubblegum? You know what? I just thought it was outrageous the first time someone ever said that. And... A year and a half later. It's true. Yeah, bubblegum and cinnamon. And a mushy banana. Yes! Wow. It's not nutty, sorry. Nope. I cannot find any nut in this yes, one. Yes, this is the rye. I'll I'll leave it out here for you. Wow, yeah. Smushed banana, bubble gum, and cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> not regular banana, it has to be smushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's well it's it's a very ripe banana. That's what I meant by smushed. Monica wants us Mushroom. to play Telestrations. We need to order that. Was what? The game that she told us she's never laughed harder in her life. Ah. And Monica recommended Bounce Off, which is one of my new favorite games, so I trust her game judgment. Absolutely. That so game Big is Red, fun. kind Just of. Just ask Pam. Not really. Oh, yeah, Pam is the queen of Bounce Off. Um, she, she was like grifting people. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm not very good. You want to put $100 on it? It's like, whoa, Pam, what are you? I don't know. Someone said, is it like Big Red? It's not, though. It's got that, like, Double bubble, bubble gum smell, but also cinnamon separately, not cinnamon gum. I don't remember it being like this. This might just be a, an effect of having all this, you know, the bourbon beforehand, but. No, that's about how I remember it. Wow. You don't like it? Of the things we've had today, I'd probably put it last. Hmm. I mean, what would you put last? You put that Elmer last, wouldn't you? Yeah. Wow. And then everyone turned on Sarah. I know, right? <laughs> and everyone hated me. It's not bad. It's not. The nose is not reflective of the taste, I don't think. It smells really funky, but it's. I think it's good. They're both a little earthy, so I don't know which one. You'd have to blind me to know which one I was going to put in last. I mean, it is such... An opposite taste that you really can't go with your first sip. You got to have that second sip. Mm -hmm. um, Boo! Now, says. <laughs> now I am getting more Sorry. of the spice, the cinnamon. It's almost like uh, you know the Red Hots. Mm -hmm. You put a Red Hot in, on there, and you're like, oh, it's not so bad. And then you're like, ah, concentrated like that little area on my tongue is now burning. That it that it sits. Right. It's kind of like that with the front to middle part of my tongue because of this. You know what? After second sip, I would put it last. Aha! She says as the crowd gets their pitchforks. The mouthfeel on the Elmer is better. It's just smoother. I mean, yeah. And I don't think the earthiness is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. I'm not sure. Don't judge me. I'm just... Being honest with you guys, I'm sorry if you don't like my answers. This has got to be a higher rye than normal. Peer pressure? No. Just more sips. I don't know. You know what it is when Perry pressures you? Pear pressure. Pear pressure. pressure. <laughs> Badoom, boom. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't love it. Well, it didn't win the flight fight that it was in. No, it did not. The rye flight fight, if you all haven't seen that. Go check it out. Oh, by the way, our next flight fight will be our finals in the Barrel Proof series. We've done all four. Our next flight fight will be uh, the finals. The so. Barrel Proof flight fight finals. Uh, Lewis said, isn't true cinnamon close to the red hot taste? <coughs> that went down the wrong <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> <coughs> I'm okay. I think he's dying. Look how red he got. 
You'd think somebody posted uh. something about an engagement ring in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Reddy got. That was just from water going down the wrong way. Are you okay? Do you need to step out? No, I'm fine. Okay. Just breathe. The show must go on. <laughs> <sighs> you killed Kenny. <coughs> <coughs> I'm good. You're so red. Yeah. Oh, no. Whoo. Okay. <laughs> Pro professional bourbon <coughs> taster, Roki water, water drinker. That's, That's right. <clears throat> if only it had been bourbon, I would have been fine, but it was this stuff called water. <laughs> That's why we say drink more bourbon, I drink more water. <clears throat> yeah, he, uh. Phew. <laughs> oh, wow. <coughs> Uh, Monica says, can we please live cast our advent calendar on Patreon? We will be putting out an episode every single day. Yeah. Um, so. Oh. So Jeffrey says, the barrel proof flight fight is, is the, the one, one true bay. bay before all others. No. Before anyone else. Yeah. What did I tell you about my brain today? You can't spell. Cheers, Jeffrey. Um. <laughs> I turn my brain off on Saturdays. I turn it back on on Sundays. Oh, she wants us to do it tomorrow to go live on <coughs> Patreon tomorrow to do lenses from the swap. Uh, yes, we can do that. Okay, we'll yes. do that. Yes, we'll, yeah, we'll good, do that. Good, good idea. You were like, Monica, we're going. We're, I was like, we're, girl, we're making a show out of every episode. Don't you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. Yes. <coughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Brondo is what plants crave. Yes. Jason Estelle. <clears throat> That's what Chad craves right now. Bourbon is. Want some bourbon or some brondo or mm. some bourbon flavored brondo? Can someone at this point that we've been rambling give us an update on how many people are still? You mean in? like out the toilet? <laughs> Please. <coughs> <coughs> oh. We need an update. Mm. All right. I need 132. Wow, that's a oh. good retention for as much as we've been rambling. Nice. Yeah. Um, I would like to try something else besides this. So we got. My tongue's a little numb, though. Small batch and single barrel, and we have a different version of a uh, barrel proof. <laughs> yes. What'd you, what'd you want to see? Let's put this back. He's going to live, I think. I think I'll He's going to make it. I think I'll be okay. <clears throat> but man, I thought... It, I oh, almost, thank you for the game score update, <clears throat> Lewis. I almost did a it. spit take. Zero, zero. I'll a Royale up. with cheese? Okay. I would like a Royale with cheese. They want the other barrel proof. <laughs> That's fine. Should have known, you all. Should've this seems known. like a great afternoon for a nap, so. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 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 You get what you, you know. Okay. Oh, hey, thank you all for okay. campaigning for the thumbs up for us. We appreciate it. We give that campaign two thumbs up. Four <laughs> thumbs up. Four thumbs up, Sarah. There we go. <laughs> oh, cracker time? That sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> so this barrel proof. <laughs> so this. You tell them. Cat in the wall, eh? Cat in the wall, eh? Cat in the wall. <clears throat> this barrel proof was our first E.H. Taylor barrel proof, um, which I want to say mm, 2016, perhaps. Maybe the 15. I don't know. Someone can look it up. Um, but it's the 129 proof version. This will be our highest proof thing of the afternoon. <clears throat> Ladies first. Just a little dram. Crackers. Cracker time. Oops. Well, Did I bump you? No. Um, do you want this much or more? Um, more please. Okay. <laughs> then you can keep yours. 129 point what? Perry says? Point O. Point O. On the dot. Oh, thanks, Monica, for advocating for Patreon. We appreciate that. Yes, thank you. It's a, it's become a really <clears throat> cool thing. Like, people have started talking to each other, and that's what we love the most about it, is that it's become more of a community Give her a than just, board. like, us... <laughs> than just like us talking at people. And that's what we want. You know, we want to help connect people from all over who love <coughs> bourbon and whiskey and, Yeah, you know. Mon Monica and Mitchell and... Eric posts <coughs> all the time. Eric and Chad and Joseph and everyone are, are big posters in there. Yeah. Jose with the cracker time. 
what was that? You got two extras, Jose. <laughs> yeah, mm. give me some of them crackers, though. <clears throat> Any thoughts on the High West Midwinter's Night Dram Act 6? I have Act 4 or 3. Act 4, I think. 3 or 4. Chad's not a fan. It's right here. It's over there. Yeah. Act 4, scene 2. I was right. Or scene 7. Is that 7? Yes. All right. Um, I like it. It's very... Stupid. It's very Christmas spice to me, so I don't drink it. As you can see, there's not a ton out of it, so I don't normally drink it year-round. Um, that one's been open for a while, though, so I should actually probably get to work on it. Humbug. Um, he's not a fan. Um, what do you guys think? You you like it? Is the Henry McKenna bottled and bond behind us? Uh... <laughs> All right, whiskey's the best. I don't get it. It's actually Sarah's bottle, so I can't send it to you. But <laughs> <clears throat> um, it was... prefer Angels Envy Rye instead. Uh, it's good. I think it's a little too much that I want to pay for that, but I think the rye is better than the regular old Angels Envy. Actually, favorite November fall dram. This one, this pick that we just did. This has become I've deemed it the fall bourbon. You've oh, been, she deemed you've it. You've been everybody. knighted. She deemed it. I'm actually going to have another one of these in a little bit. Dang. Uh, deemed it. Yeah, Ed Wallace says Christmas in a bottle. I completely agree. It's perfect for the holidays, but that's what I sipped on it last year, and that's probably when I'll sip on it again this year. For me, it's fruitcake. I'll have it once a year. It'll <laughs> be during Christmas, and then that's it until next year. <clears throat> Put that on your label. <gasps> Ooh, this is my favorite one. Yeah, this is definitely. It doesn't win the day. The better. Russell's is still. Yeah, it, well, it's better than that, that 128. It's, it is, yeah. Uh, 128.1. Mm, that's nice. I like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> now, we do have, from a anonymous friend, uh, every E.H. Taylor barrel proof in existence. Not every bottle, but every um, uh, expression. Yeah. Um, in our possession. That's crazy. Yeah, and we're just trying to figure out what to do. What to do with it. What do you do with it? <laughs> it's a lot. Um, and we're very thankful, but that person just you know wanted to, to stay anonymous, so we will honor <clears throat> their generosity. Yeah. And it wasn't to keep. Disclaimer. It's to borrow and sample and, and decide what we Correct. like. Correct. Correct. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, so, just putting that out there in the world, which is great. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Like, how are we going to try all that? What are we even going to do? It sounds like a, one of those, like, I don't know. It sounds like we should have a bourbon night just for E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Yeah. Well, for sure. <laughs> Store-bought fruitcake is trash, Nicholas says. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> flight fight? There's so many, though. I don't know that we can do one flight fight. Especially them all being barrel proofs. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's tough enough to do four. Then we'll have first. a repeat of both of us will be like me in that Old Crow Reserve Old Crow episode. Old Crow Reserve episode. It won't even make any sense. Ah, <clears throat> uh, that episode is going down in infamy. That's great. I love it. I didn't know at the time that I it would define it. my future. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Well, I'm pretty funny, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, we've got about six minutes left. Um, we're going to finish this. Good. Let's pour up. Do you guys want to, you, anything you want to chat about in particular? Um, got any questions for us? What you want to know? What you want to know? This is outstanding. What's going on in your minds? Thoughts, concerns, questions. Want to know anything about the advent calendar coming up or what else we got coming up? We got a fun Four Roses event next Friday. Um, last year, Brent Elliott and Al Young were there. It's oh, a yeah. Four Roses, the El Lexington Bourbon Society puts it on. And they do the top bidding teams get places and they provide all 10 recipes of the four roses and you get to make your own small batch blend. And then there's a panel of judges who judge each team's blend at the end and someone's awarded winner and, yeah. and we get to hang out with Bryn Elliott all night and we love him. That's He's right. great. So, That's, right. um, <clears throat> That's coming up. They're uh, hilarious. That's funny. Yeah. I love uh, that. Matthew had a question. He said he's on a budget now. What, uh, you know, and can't 
put a lot towards bourbon, what would you recommend? You know, kind of like uh, good values. Yeah, I recommend Evan Williams 1783. Absolutely. It's $16 in our area. Some places at Total Wine, it's $13. Can't believe it, but yeah. it is. Uh, of course, we're big advocates for Wild Turkey 101. <laughs> um, hey, Graham. Yes, cheers again. Remember your vets and enjoy all day. Cowbell enjoy the cheers day. Cheers to them. <laughs> Cowbell cheers to the vets, to the veterans. Uh, so I'd say that. I would also say if you can find it and still at retail, of course, Henry McKenna, 10 year single barrel. Uh, Bottle and Bond is a is a great value. Seems like these great values are going away. The the McKenna, the Heaven Hill BIB, a lot of them are going away. So that's why you know just stick with the standards. Wild Turkey 101, uh, Evan Williams 1783. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, depending upon if you're a Jim Beam fan or not, I think there's a lot of value in Jim Beam Bonded or Distiller's Cut. Um, you know Repeal Batch. Uh, probably more distiller's cut and, and bonded because they're the higher proof. And yeah. I think that really does help. It helps. The, the you know. Turkey 101 is a great value pour, so. The low, call it lower tier Jim Beam. Mm -hmm. So in other words, not Knob Creek or Bakers or Bookers, you know, just your Jim Beam labels, not your single barrel Jim Beam even. Um, I think the proof really helps those things come through. So those things uh, like that, I think. Um, Nicholas asked, is our advent calendar something we threw together or bought? We actually, it's sort of like a community thing within our Lexington Bourbon Society. People sign up for different calendars and then we have a meetup to all trade samples. So each person donates a bottle and then we fill it into individual sample bottles and we all swap. So we have the same calendars. Which we'll be doing later um, today. Tomorrow. Filling them. Oh, filling them. We'll fill them. I was like, later we're today. not going to that later. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think you know anyone could do it. You just need twenty five people or twenty five bottles if you have not as many people and yeah. one ounce sample bottles, and you just build a calendar and it's fun. Yeah, highly recommend that. What show um, do you have planned for around Turkey? Day? <laughs> I see it <laughs> for around Turkey Day. Um, well, we have a few shows. We have a uncorking of Wild Turkey one on one. Finally. What's it called, Chad? <laughs> it's a little different format Format of an uncorking. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Look forward to it. It'll probably be Friday's episode, actually. Uh, it has a guest on it. And... Um, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be nice to our guest. And we have our Black Friday is our plan to drop our... Holiday. Holiday gift-giving guide. Uh, so the Friday after Thanksgiving, so you'll have from then on to, you know, shop shop for your friends and loved ones yeah. in, the, in the bourbon world. Um, and speaking of that, two people just asked Jose and Neil asked, um, what about merch? Would love to support your effort. And merch still any updates? I was working on the website all morning. Um, we're getting close. Uh, just in need of a few pictures left, and I'm no web person, so I gotta hook up some domain names and test some shipping things and we got to weigh shipping packages to calculate that but we're getting really close you guys i'm so excited uh the goal is to have it launched before then obviously because yeah. we want to like have it out there for shopping but yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah, so yeah. stay tuned if anyone wants to uh, emotionally support me through this process yeah i would really appreciate it oh i would agree with you joe green on the jw dance and the jts brown um also the tw samuels and a uh, 175 it's a weeder is also a, a great value as well uh larceny yeah larceny at 92 proof uh 22 it's a weeder maker's mark killer is what people call that one i have to agree mm -hmm. um well we're in our last minute so we will have we better to go. Uh, We'll have to wrap it up. Um, All right. And there you go. Yep. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us on a new day, a different day. <laughs> yeah. It's just a substitute day. But <clears throat> uh, we'll see you again next Sunday. Uh, we'll see you next Friday, first of all, for our produce episode. And we'll see you next Sunday for our live episode, which mm -hmm. may be bourbon and pie. Maybe. So. Maybe. Another thing for Thanksgiving. So there right. you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know well, where to find us. Cool, cool. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Again, happy Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everyone who has served or is currently serving. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Bye.